Okay, so this is a another DeWalt promotional item from the Black Friday stuff, specific to Home Depot, but some other retailers are going to have these in very small numbers. And basically, the retailers don't even get these unless they're kind of a volume retailer, and then they're given a limited number of, of certain DeWalt promotional kits as part of the Black Friday event stuff. Uh, my local Home Depot, I, I go to a couple of them in the Portland area, uh, only one of them had one of these kits in stock, and they didn't even know the price. I had to kind of hustle to get that. Turned out it's on sale for 49 bucks. Normally something like this goes for about 120 And what this is, is it's, it's the DeWalt DCF uh, 682 gyroscopic screwdriver. Now, I had looked at one of these for around $99 at an electrician supply place, where it had a conduit reamer attachment, and I, I think this thing was like slightly longer because of that. The thing about that model is I, I just don't need the ream conduit very often. And um, when I do, I can use a separate tool for that. It's just not that hard to do. Uh, the other thing is that I tended to use a, uh, a cutoff saw that just wasn't making a mess of cutting conduit. The thing about the DeWalt 8 volt max battery packs is it looks like, you know, like maybe a couple of C cells or maybe fat double A's or something. It's kind of a unique battery pack. And even though you can get promotional deals on the tools and then get batteries with them, when you go to buy the battery separately, they're 40 bucks each. That's where they stick it to you. Uh, everything else is, is, you know, relatively standard stuff. We're going to use a quarter inch hex drive. Uh, tight bits with this thing and when you get used to using a full power you know 18 20 volt impact driver you're going to think wow this thing doesn't have a lot of power compared to earlier 12 volt uh, and, and low voltage uh, electric screwdriver stuff this thing has plenty of power okay it plenty of power for let's say furniture assembly jobs but if you're going to be going all day you're going to need those spare batteries and you're kind of stuck with the situation where you might as well just buy the kits to get the batteries out of them. <coughs> Excuse me. Might as well buy the kits just to get the batteries out of them. The other thing I found was a little quirky. This came with this nice little case with, you know, a bunch of extra screwdriver chips, but with the the relatively standard uh, quarter inch kind of uh, you know locking shank type stuff. You, you might find this getting a little bit long and awkward, and you may want to use different types of screwdriver kits with that, and that's fine. Just remember, this isn't an impact driver, this is just basically a screwdriver. Um, and the thing that I run into is that the gun-shaped impact drivers don't work real well with regular slot screws, okay? They work fine with Phillips and Torx and anything that's hex-shaped, all that kind of stuff. That's always good to go, right? We start using like older electrical boxes, having to get into that stuff, uh, using regular slot screws. You just need the, the control of a regular screwdriver, which this has. All right, so we're going to show the controls on this thing. Batteries inserted. Again, it's not a massive tool. We, uh, but the main thing for this is we want to be able to use the slotted heads and some of the oddball size stuff. And we want to be able to reach stuff and be able to go quickly without having all that ham fatigue from having to twist and grip and all that kind of stuff. And speed is money when you're on jobs where you're paid by the item, okay? The other thing is, of course, we get a little bit of gee whiz effect with having cool tools. Um, and the other thing, of course, I didn't pay full retail for this. I got it on a promotional deal with the whole Black Friday stuff at Home Depot. Uh, very small numbers of these in the stores. Okay, so here's what happens. You have a trigger, but it's not a two-mode trigger. It's just basically on and off. Now, as soon as you grip it, the device is going to vibrate a little bit to show that it's powered up and ready. But notice that the tip is not moving, and there is no left-right control. What it is, it's a very intuitive gyro that will and you can correct it. So let's say we tip it one way or the other and it starts to turn. We can we can just stop, turn. And so what's going to happen is, you know, it's a very intuitive control that you can learn fairly quickly. 
And depending on whether you, you move this slowly or very slowly, uh, you can have a lot of control over this thing. And it, 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 it really is easy to control. It has a lot of control. But the other thing is you adjust the power by how hard you flick it. So if you're into a screw and you need more power, more torque, you, you twist it harder and it turns faster. Now, it is not an impact driver. And if you're going to be using this thing constantly all day, don't, don't expect that battery to last forever. It's a small battery. Um, I did uh, a bathroom worth of uh, bathroom, you know, small fixtures like the toilet paper roller, towel rack, little shelf, mirror, vanity mirror, all that kind of stuff. I did a bathroom worth of stuff before the battery was starting to kind of have a little bit of weakness to it. Uh, put it on the charger, came up fairly quickly, and I went and installed the TV on the wall. Now I still had to use my impact driver to get the mounting screws into the studs. But for, you know, regular stuff, small screw stuff like that, you're going to be just fine. Um, if you're into e-cycling, recycling electronics, this thing would make ripping down uh, old computers, old electronic stuff, make taking stuff apart very fast, very efficient, without having to, uh, you know, use a larger tool for that, because you do have the control of, you know, a more nimble tool. It's a... And it is more nimble than simply um, having to flick something right or left. And it's the wave of the future on these types of tools. A lot of people are still doing a left-right trigger type thing, like a thumb trigger. With this, you can actually get a good grip on it. Now, the other thing I've noticed is if the battery's low or dead, you can overcome the tool's torque with your hand, just like on the older Black & Decker electric screwdrivers. If the battery's out and it's locked up it it locks up in here and turns into a solid screwdriver so you know let's say you're working for a while and your uh, uh, you know it lock uh, your battery's dead it's got to spend a little time on the charger you don't lose the use of a screwdriver it doesn't mean this is just freewheeling because there's no power to it uh, what happens it locks up and then just becomes a solid screwdriver with a fairly good grip do I think it's a cool tool? Yeah. Do I think it's a must-have? No, but it's a cool tool. Um, you know, again, promotional deals on these can go down to 50 bucks. Sometimes if you buy one of the larger DeWalt toolkits, this could be a promotional thing. You, you send your little rebate coupon and get. Or um, you spring for it when uh, you're, you're at the tool store. 